Hey there buddies, welcome back to another video on Horizon Forbidden West, brought to you by Venomous Gaming Entertainment Only, play PlayStation, okay. I don't know if you guys could actually hear that, but the play... I'm, but the PS5 thought I was talking to it. I would have just said the whole word actual PlayStation, but the, the console thinks I'm talking to it. <laughs> but, um, so what I've done since the previous video is, I'll show you. Okay, as you can see, I'm now level 38. I've got 46 skill points to use, and the map now looks like this. Basically, I haven't gone to another tall neck. Um, I've basically just ran to these locations myself. And you can't swim further than this part here, so that takes, so maybe you, you make a boat or something, but the current is, the current, um, is too strong. So I've done a whole bunch of side quests and things like that. Um, now level 38, ready to do another main mission, and what I do like as well though, this game, it reminds me of Assassin's Creed Valhalla a little bit, the map is so big, there's so many things to do. But this one is different though, this one's better because it invites you to go exploring, whereas Valhalla didn't, the story was so shit. <laughs> You know, Valhalla's story was so shit, it, it was just literally Vikings going to England, making friends, and that was it. Whereas this game here, it's... This, it keeps you hooked, the story is brilliant, um... The graphics as well, the gameplay... Really? Didn't she go this deep in the first one? Zero Dawn. And anyway, she needs to be careful because if you go so deep, you can't come back up straight away, otherwise, you know, your blood bubbles because of the pressure. Okay, so where do I go when I'm down here now? And I do like this music that they have here. You see, this game is so much better than Valhalla. A startup right here, more than 30 years ago. Back when this casino was still called the Temple. One big bet turned my fate around. But now, fate's dealt as cruel as hell ever to everyone. I have to turn the lights out one final time. And the waters of my adopted home will at last run dry. Well, if a dream has to die, at least I can say goodbye first. Stanley Chen. What is he doing here? Nautical lights. How can she talk with that breather in her mouth like that? There must be a gap for her mouth to for her lips to move, I reckon. It doesn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> uh, this part looks so wicked. Wow. That looks like a lot. It's hiding down here somewhere. Gotta find where it's hiding. Look at this, I just want to take a moment just to swing the camera around there, okay, it's fucking fantastic. Whoa. That's what I just said. What kind of machine is it? Okay, so it's a Tide Ripper. Yeah, I've already beaten one of those. I think one of those was in a side quest I did as well. Yeah, it's like a museum or someplace. You know, if Valhalla was like this, where it gripped you with the Assassin's Creed story, then I'd still probably be playing Valhalla now. <laughs> oh my god, I can't even swim this way. Yeah, this is what happens when you're out in the ocean as well, though, when you swim so far out, the current just sweeps you back in. Okay, I'm not exactly too sure where to go here. Okay, so you got these items under the water, but I don't really need... Um... Okay, so this is where I go. Drainage controls offline. To execute an emergency purge, 
manual reset of primary and secondary pump modes is required. The purge can then be triggered at the pump maintenance station. If I do this purge and drain all the water, I can fight that big machine on dry ground. Yeah, but the thing is though, would that voice actually sound like that, or would it sound more like... This is fucking fantastic. It feels brilliant, this. <clears throat> oh shit, there's more machines down here. Oh my god. Uh, let me <clears throat> let me just trap these fools. They better not see me because I won't be any good down here. I can't fight them one on one. There must be a whole network of these tunnels down here. Like the city of Atlantis. Okay, so I take it I go this way. Let me just pick up this anyway. I got 2,207 medicinal berries. <laughs> but you can only carry like 20 though. It's, or 30. It's kind of nice. Okay, do I go... Okay, going down is out of the option, so... Um... Okay, there's nothing here for me to climb onto. Okay, not that. So I can't seem to get out of the water here unless there's something under the water that I need to do first. Now I'm trapped by the damn ladder. Hold on. Okay, this is more like it. I'm in the hole. I just can't believe how OP I am. I'm level 38, and I swear this mission is only um, level 22. <laughs> Find the access point for the second node. Right, can I swim this way now? Um, no, I can't. Right, okay. How does she remember which way to even go to get the fuck out of here? Because I'll be lost by now. <coughs> Oh, hold on a minute. I'm lost right now as well. Which way do I go? It says to go up, but I can't. Um. Ah, there we go. Oh, shit. Look at that thing. Fucking hell. 
If that sees me, I'm good as dead. I can't survive an underwater battle. And there's no, like, underwater weeds for to hide under or something. Don't turn to the right. Oh shit, not that fucking thing. Jesus Christ, how they never saw me, I have no idea. Fucking blind machines, man. Okay, so... This is like a sewer area that I'm in anyway. Um, every game's got a sewer level. It's not even turning that thing. Oh, oh right. Maybe that debris is weighing it down. Nope, time to let rip. Five in the hole. Taking care of both nodes. Now I just need to activate the emergency purge at the maintenance station. How does she know all of this about this city? I mean, how fucking bizarre. I mean, maybe they get. The maintenance station should be at the south end of the door. I mean, maybe the. I don't know. According to the map, I mean, the fo the focus is fucking extraordinary if it's telling her all this information, I swear to God, because uh, there's no way a primitive person would know all this. Better move it. No, oh, shit, I can't even get in. This building collapsed. And there might be a way in. Okay. Yeah, swimming for my life here at the same time, bloody hell. It's amazing how these doors open so smoothly with so much sand there on the floor. <laughs> find a console to activate Interesting. The I saw an item down here, so I just want to see what it was. But it's these purple ones, though, that you want to get, really, because they held the most valuable. 
of all the resources. These are the ones that I'm getting, they're just commons. Okay, which way do I go now? Now this underwater level is so sick, you don't get this in games. Not like this. <clears throat> I bet there's going to be Horizon Forbidden 3. No, I, I just don't know what they're going to call it. <laughs> Horizon Forbidden East, <laughs> maybe. System shutdown is almost done. The only thing left is to power everything down at the control center. So, I guess this is it. One final walk down the strip, and then it's lights out forever. At least I won't be around to see it destroyed. The Odyssey will be well on its way to Sirius by the time the swarm gets here. Still. My last memory of this place will be empty. A city that's already dead. Stanley Chen was one of them. The Zenith. But he did so much for this place. He he doesn't sound like the others. Sorry, I'll just listen to the dialogue because if I press this button, maybe yeah, you know, cutscene. That's what I was thinking. Machine guarding the door on the other end of the dome. She must be well tired. Her muscles must be. I can get to what's waiting on the other side of the door. Poseidon. Her muscles must be aching in the lactic acid by now. I guess the question get rid of all of the water. Let's do this! I tell you, it's going to be a boss battle here now or something. Let me just get my acid rounds ready, man, because uh, I like this book. It's fucking sick, I swear to god. I'm surprised she's got any oxygen to breathe down there. Are these all holograms? They are. I thought this was actually a sea life down in the water, but it's not. They're all, it's just holograms of sea life. Okay, what happened to the creek? Oh, there they are. Yeah, if I can, I will. Not very good at this sneaking game. Are you crazy? 
crazy? Hush now. She saved our death. Okay, then. Stay up here and start firing when I engage. I don't get it though, as well, because um, if the machines were initially built to help um, terraform the planet, why on earth do they look like dinosaurs? God, I love that poison, man, I'm telling you. Oh shit. Yeah, I defeated one of these in a side quest, I think it was. Oh my god, man. <laughs> this guy would be awesome fun at a water park. Nice. Come on, get out of the water. I can't fight it when I'm in the water. No! Oh shit, <laughs> what a right hook that was. Oh my god, wow. Come on, I'm trying to poison this thing, but it keeps doing the same bullshit attack. Nice poison once again, now it's finished this time. Tell you the truth, I could probably just run in and just like, hit it with the weapon that I have. I did on the protagonist okay so let me just run around here in a second let me just see what items pick up yeah medicinal berries I need them because I bet there's gonna be other creatures down here for me to um, take out 
And I don't mean for dinner. <laughs> Okay, so it, so it does say there's no other items for me to pick up here, so... Where am I meant to go now? It's pointing to two locations. Find Poseidon and talk to the crew is number two. Let me talk to the crew a second. Everyone okay? A little fracas. You guys alright? <clears throat> More than alright! This... You... We did it! All the embers we could ever want, and it's all thanks to you. Very, uh, heartwarming. But maybe we can just, you know, grab what we came here for and get out before any more of those things decide to show up. Now, now, shard counter. Nothing wrong with a little revenue. Though we should probably let our flame-haired friend get going. I believe she has business down here. Does she not? Right. Of course. You need any help? I can handle it from here. Very well. Well, we'll start taking some of the embers upstairs. Call her if you need us. Thanks. Where does he get the word holla from? These are ancient times, man. These are, I mean... Oh, hold on, I mean, there's another medicinal berry. I swear I can hear dolphins. Nah, the devs, the developers are really going to town on this game, I swear. Even the, the music, it fits right into the atmosphere of the game, the lighting. Everything about this is brilliant, I swear. I'm surprised it was, oh uh, yeah, it was overshadowed on release day because of Elden Ring, wasn't it? Okay, Poseidon should be hiding in some kind of processor. I need to find a console to gain access to it. There. I should be able to use that console. How does she know straight away just by looking at it? I can't do it. I can't give up on this place. <clears throat> I'm leaving everything on standby. The system's equipped for run for decades, if not hundreds of years. It's a long shot. But maybe someday, against all odds, someone will find this place again. More he was right. No, I just stopped that recording. Oh, I didn't mean to stop it. I meant to listen to it all. Oh, press the wrong button. I'm here to bring you home, Poseidon. To Gaia. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master of Gaia activated. Restoring Poseidon's subordinate function to original code. Bring this back to Gaia. System reboot initiated. Looks like taking Poseidon triggered a restart of the city's power system. That's gotta be a good thing, right? I'm thinking. The London crew must have headed back up top. Now the trouble is, how do I get back up top if the water's been drained? I can't exactly fly or something. This is like a, a casino. One if I can do a Batman. Yeah, there we go. Or a Spider-Man really, I think. Okay, can I jump across there, or is that... Nope, too much to ask. Uh, 
I'm just taking one last look at this place before I leave it. It's fucking brilliant. Okay, let's go. Chinatown, here they come. <laughs> I'm literally just having a guess as to which way I, it is that I go because the marker is only pointing up but it doesn't say how to get up. Okay, so not... Well done, and how did those other people get down here anyway if the water was drained? Doesn't make any sense to me. But they do fall all the way down here or something. Okay, why can't she just climb up? Oh my god, I had to drop down just to climb up that stingy little ladder. That's pathetic. Looks like that elevator I found earlier. Maybe I can catch a ride instead of climbing back up. Nah, maybe that's how they got down here. But still, they're not as agile as Aloy, so how, how they got down and got back up makes no sense. <laughs> Look at that, and now she's bone dry. Hmm. Okay, I need to exit the ruin. Yeah, how do I get out of here? How much did all this cost? <laughs> oh. Oh, show my old gramps always wanted. There's another. <laughs> His dream realized, his old Gramps legacy ensured, our hero beheld the sea of desert lights and wept his good fortune. When I saw the Embers as a child, I never dreamed they could be like this. Thank you, Aloy. Well, did you find what you were looking for? I did. And now I have to move on. Oh. Oh. Come back when you can. I got big plans for this place. I thought you wanted to put on shows with the Embers back in the claim. Oh, no. This is the show. Oh, can you imagine? Folks from all over the land coming to take it all in. Plus, some food and a nice place to stay. Not to mention a variety of entertainment venues. Uh, don't forget, games of chance. Plenty of shards to be had there for certain. <laughs> a new dream, huh? I, um, I hope you make it happen. Goodbye, gentlemen. This delve was a story for the ages. All thanks to you. Moreland and crew is gonna stay. Maybe I should come back and check on them later. Yeah, I don't mind doing that. Deciding back to Gaia, but with all the ruins here, I might want to look around before I head back. And with my new diving mask, I can swim as deep as I need to. Actually, you know what? Water sites I found earlier. 
I don't mind doing some of that, but a bit later though. Okay, what's it? The Tower of Tears, what does that mean? I don't know what the hell that is. Let's just fast travel back to Gaia. And prepare for another long fucking cutscene, I should imagine. <laughs> Yeah, in fact, what do you have to offer? Because, um, um, boy, outfits, what outfits have you got? This one here, what is this? Uh, I can't even afford it. Right. Okay, lost. goodbye. Yeah, I'm just thinking, maybe I should have teleported there, but I don't know. Batman! <laughs> okay, the base. Pizza. Oh, is this, is this another side quest that she has here? Maybe you can find Aloy. Hey, thought I'd uh, check in on how you're doing. You mean after meeting someone who looks exactly like you, but isn't you, down in the basement? Guess this must be even stranger for you than it is for us. Huh? A little. Varl said she may be able to help us in our mission, though. Maybe. There is something I'd like to discuss. It's about the land gods. If you have time, that is. Um, what is it that you wanted to... You know what, I'll come back to this dialogue a bit later. Need to get going. May the land bloom in your steps. Okay, how do I get to Gaia? <clears throat> Welcome back, Aloy. I see you have recovered Poseidon. Trophy recovered Poseidon. I'll be right down. Aloy, I have managed to unlock additional rooms within the facility. Got it. Level 39 reach, I'm brilliant. Down, Gaia. Hello, Aloy. What would you like to discuss? Nothing really, I just wanted to see if there was any um See you later, Gaia. <laughs> I just wondered if it's gonna be a long cutscene, but there wasn't. <laughs> Sweet level thirty nine. Oh god, I'm walking into a fucking wall. What am I doing? Okay, wait. I don't think that door had power before, but looks like it's malfunctioning. You mean this door here? Yeah, we didn't have power before. Looks like some kind of maintenance space. Nice. Ooh, check this out. I wonder where this leads. No, so I was just wondering. 
Okay, so I can go to the left, I need to go to the right. Let's do this. Okay, I need to... Okay. Power cells? Oh. Hmm. Interesting. So there's two power cells there. I take it I'm going to need at least one of them. Yep, I see it, I knew it. There we go. Inside power cell into there. found that recording from the data on your focus. She's been watching it a lot. I think it helps calm her. You know, I used to watch this a lot too. Whenever I wanted to take my mind off things. Daddy sure does love his little big... But there's something you need to tell me? While you were gone, I came down here to check on her. Then we started talking. Right, Beta? She's been thinking about how to capture Hephaestus, studying the data Gaia gave her. But we started talking about some other stuff. You know, just getting to know each other, right? And then she told me that one of the Zeniths might be different from the others. Tilda. You saw her at the Hades Proving Lab. Go on. On the way to Earth, the Zeniths never showed their faces. My servitor caretaker referred to them as my benefactors and promised I'd meet them someday when I had learned enough. And then, one day, a data channel opened in my training interface. In it, Tilda was waiting for me in a virtual replica of a house on a cliff overlooking the ocean. It was beautiful. She showed me paintings, books, media files. We met there in secret many times. But a few months later, it stopped. Can you tell us why, Beta? I found some data about Tilda at the Hades Proving Lab. I think she was the liaison between Far Zenith and Zero Dawn. She knew Elizabeth Sobek, that's for sure. Maybe that's why she reached out to you? Okay, I'm going to select all options here to learn everything I possibly can. What else can you tell us about Tilda? She... liked to talk about her paintings. What about herself? Did she ever talk about her life on Earth? How she joined the Zeniths? Something like that? She never said much about herself, and she hated it when I asked too many questions. But I think, back on Earth, she was an expert programmer, given that she built a data channel the other Zeniths couldn't detect. Is there anything else about her that we might be able to use to our advantage? She was the first real person who ever bothered to speak to me. I wasn't really assessing her for strengths and weaknesses. You said that Tilda reached out to you using a data channel? It appeared in my training interface as another assignment. When I opened it, there were a series of intermittent glitches. I realized they formed a transpositional cipher. Instructions on how to open up a new virtual space. When I entered it, my training interface disappeared. Instead of the usual holographic teachers and files, I was in a perfect recreation of her home. And you're sure the other Zeniths never knew about it. To them, it looked like I was still in training. Toiling away. Alone. So this secret virtual space looked like a house with an ocean view? 
I could see white caps and hear waves crashing on rocks below. And there were gulls crying outside. Inside, Tilda had frames. Ned showed off her favorite paintings, changing at intervals to match the light. There was an armchair she liked. She'd sit there and gaze outside while I looked through her things. We spent hours in that house. I never wanted to leave. You said Tilda showed you paintings and let you access media files? Every time we met, she showed me a new painting. I, I think she was Dutch. All of her favorite pieces were from their golden age in the 1600s. Portraits, allegories, ships at sea. She had so many. Did it interest you? I liked her media portal. It had so much more than my training interface. Clips, shows, hollows. My favorite was this one called Second Time Around, about a family whose kid comes back after disappearing during the hot zone crisis. Right, but did this portal have anything about the Zeniths themselves? Anything we could use? No. Any information about them was redacted. So Tilda set up a secret virtual space where she could talk to you, a house on a cliff. Then later, she cut you off. But other than the fact that Tilda knew Elizabeth, you don't know why she did those things? I don't! Okay? I thought of every possible reason that would make her leave, but whatever I did wrong, I don't know what it is. When I finally met the others, she ignored me. I acted like the data channel never existed. None of this even matters. Tilda's the same as the others. It won't help us defeat them. Okay. Let's leave it at that, then. That looked fucked up. <laughs> I'm trying, Laurel. But she is tough to take. I'm out there in the wilds, risking my life every day, and all she can do is hide in there and tell us how hopeless it all is. I'm sorry, she's had a rough time, but she is really not helping right now. Hmm. You always seem to be on top of everything, so I sometimes forget about what you've been through. I mean... It wasn't that long ago you were so banged up you couldn't even walk. About that. When I pulled you out of the water back near the proving lab, you were muttering Rost's name. You never talk about him. But he raised you. Trained you. You must miss him a lot. Of course I do. But I don't have time to think about that now. I need to get back out there. Okay. I'll keep working with Beta. Gaia says she knows a lot about Zero Dawn. And maybe she just needs some time to adjust, and then she can help us with Hephaestus. Sure. But I won't hold my breath. Okay, she knows a lot about Zero Dawn. Does that mean she's played the game and platinumed it just like me? <laughs> Okay, so, where's the next uh, mission? Main mission is Scenes of the Past. Good. Okay then guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to end the video here, and I'll be back with the next main mission. Okay, peace out.